Shift with Dr. Takeda Williams. And listen, here's, here's, here's what we do when we come to the studio. This is really church. This is Word Network Church. So what I want you to do as we come in, your praises are getting ready to leave Detroit, Michigan, and it's getting ready to go all throughout the United States. It's about to go to Africa. It's about to go to China. It's about to go to Asia. It's about to go everywhere. I want you to lift up your voices, and tonight I don't want you to hold back, but I want you to begin to praise God like you love him. Come on, lift up your voices. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are expecting something tonight? How many of you are expecting something on tonight? How many of you are expecting a miracle tonight? How many of you are expecting a breakthrough tonight? How many of you need God to turn something around? If you need a turnaround, I dare you to lift up your voice and shout turn. for The Shift with Dr. Takeda Williams.
Oh, come on, everybody, put your hands together like this. We come today to declare that the Lord is mighty. How many know that the Lord is mighty on today? Oh, I wish you talk back to me. How many know that the Lord is mighty? Put those hands together like this. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Here we go, we say, say, Lord, you're mighty. 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 Oh, since you're mighty. Since you're mighty. Nobody deserves the glory. But you, Jesus, we lift you high. your name in all the earth. You said your glory above the heavens and the earth. When I think of all you made, the sun, the moon, the stars, no praise is high enough to express how great you are.
right here, oh my God, when you smell it, it's amazing. I'm, it's no it's no joke. This oil has one of the key seven species of the land of Canaan. There were seven, seven major species when the spies went to search out the land of Canaan. When they began to research the promised land, they came back with a report. One of the things they said is that the fruit is amazing. The fruitfulness, the prosperity in that land is mind-blowing. One of those fruits were pomegranate. This oil right here is pomegranate anointing oil. Because pomegranate, watch this, they did not have that fruit in the wilderness. They had it in Egypt. They lost it in the wilderness, but they got it all back in the land of Canaan. This oil represents restoration of what you lost when you were in the wilderness. Does anybody need restoration in your life? This oil is for you tonight. If you need restoration, I need you to lift up your voice and shout, I want it. Come on, lift up your voices and shout, I want it. This oil is symbolic of God restoring to you what you did not have while you were in the wilderness. And when they got to Canaan, it was greater because restoration says, I don't get it back the same way it came, but when I get it back, it comes back greater. This oil is about to anoint you to walk in your greater. This anointing is about to activate restoration in your life. This oil is about to anoint you to invade your land of Canaan and get everything that God promised you. Is there anybody that God made you some promises? God says, I'm anointing you to get it. He said, bring this oil, bring this cloth, bring this message. And for those of you that respond, let me tell you something about the pomegranate. When you study French, the word pomegranate, this is powerful. Catch this. The word pomegranate in French language is interpreted as a grenade, a hand grenade. When you put this oil, hey, I wish I had about, I wish I had about 50 crazy praisers that would catch that in your spirit that said, Dr. Williams, I need that kind of anointing. A hand grenade is a weapon against your enemy that will stand and declare no weapon formed against me will be able to prosper. A hand grenade is a weapon that you throw in the enemy's camp and it blow up everything. God Almighty, God told me to tell you this next anointing that's getting ready to come upon you, your power is about to increase. You're going to have a power of a grenade. Boom! I wish I had a crazy praiser in here tonight that will open up your mouth and shout, boom! God is about to anoint you with the same power that's in a hand grenade. It's in this oil. You say, Dr. Williams, listen, woman of God, don't wait till the end of the program. Tell me right now how I can get that anointing. Tell me right now how I can get the enemy to back up off of my family. Tell me right now how I can get the blood applied to my house. Tell me right now how I can back up diabolical spirits that have come to rob me of my season. Tell me how I can come against the powers of the enemy. Glory be to God. And embrace the power of God so I can get to my land of Canaan without fail. You say, how can I get it? Well, you can get it by standing on the word with me tonight and releasing your faith on Romans 8.28. Because this is a Romans 8.28 kind of night. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and to them that are the called according to his purpose. God told me to tell you, as you exercise your faith, you're going to get this whole kit and you're going to see God begin to turn things around in your life. All things are getting ready to work together for your good. 
You say, woman of God, what do I need to do? I need you to dial right now, 855-730-WORD. I only have so many of these, and I want to get you one tonight. And as you call to do what, woman of God? Release your seed of $80.28. You can't buy this kind of book. This has been in the presence of God at the exchange the power of a hand grenade. That's how powerful you're about to be. So powerful you blow up sickness. So powerful you blow back disease. So powerful that you blow up poverty. So powerful, glory be to God, that you send a weapon in the enemy's camp. Pick up the phone right now. Release your seed of $80.28. Operators are waiting for you right now. I want to put your name on one of these kits. And as you call to release that 8028, call right now. I'm going to read your name tonight. And I'm going to declare this anointing, this power over you and over your family. Now, 855-730-WORD. Don't miss this moment. I want you to do it. Do it right now. Because God's got a miracle with your name on it. 855-730-WORD. You're releasing that faith seed, that miracle release seed. That seed in an exchange, God's going to release an anointing on your life for you to walk forth in your land of Canaan. 855-730-WORD. Glory be to God. I told you I got some awesome people with me tonight, some awesome and incredible men and women of God. Tonight, I have the privilege of having my own mother. My mother with me. Okay, now listen, that's my mother. Would you help me put your, put your hands together and help me praise God for my mother. God used her womb to birth me. She looks so beautiful, we look like sisters. My mother, affectionately known as Mother Rhonda, is here tonight to introduce our Shock and Rock pastors, our Spotlight Ministries. Mother Rhonda, would you help us welcome our Spotlight pastors tonight? Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm pleased to introduce to you tonight our Spotlight Pastors. Can you tell us your name and the church that you represent tonight? Amen. I'm Pastor John Middleton from the New Anderson Temple Missionary Baptist Church of Detroit. Amen. Your name and the church you represent and expound a little bit. Amen. I'm Pastor... Shante Irvin of Live Ministries in the beautiful city of Royal Oak, Michigan. And um, just on tonight, as I was preparing to come on the shift, yeah. God began to speak to me and said that he was getting ready to shift and change things in the people's lives. Oh Even yeah. just like Paul and Silas, when they put a praise on their situation, yeah. he shifted something suddenly. Yes. And God says that he's doing something suddenly in your life. He says, and you shall not know. Know it. He says that he puts a path through the wilderness and rivers through the desert, and he's going to change your situation right now in the name of Jesus as you put a praise on work situation. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I didn't know I was supposed to expound, but the word that I'm hearing on tonight, God says he's taking us from pain to power, then to praise. And the songwriter says, you got to put a praise on it. Yeah. If you want God to turn things around, it's a matter of your praise. Yeah. And so you don't have to wait until the battle's over. Yeah. You can shout right now. Yeah. Let's give God some praise in this place. Glory! Your name and your church you represent here tonight. Amen. I'm Pastor Darren Brown from Fresh Start Community Church in Clinton Township, Michigan. And as I was studying for tonight, I heard God take me to the dictionary where it says to shift is a slight change of direction, yes. position, or tendency. Yes. Tendency refers to the inclination toward a certain behavior or characteristic. Yes. You see, there's too many people trying to intellectually figure out the tendencies of God. But I dare somebody on tonight to tap into the spirit of God so that when God makes that sudden shift in your life, you'll be put in position to hear from God and shift with him and receive all that he has in store for you. Amen. Amen. Come on and let's celebrate our 
Spotlight Pastors tonight. Now, let's celebrate and give him that, give God the praise for that wonderful expounding. And we give it right back tonight to Dr. Takeda Williams. you so much men of God for being here tonight oh what a blessing to have them in our midst I told you we got some powerful incredible men and women of God with us on tonight amen and we're looking forward to experiencing a mighty 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 chef somebody shout it again chef my God almighty listen I believe without a shadow of a doubt that God is transitioning you. It is not the will of God that the people of God remain where they are. God continues to tell me where they've been. They've been too long. Now is your set. That's a good place to shout right there. Somebody say too long. Something has to happen. It has to. And tonight, I'm telling you, it's going to. Oh, my God. It's going to. Why? Because it has to. Things won't stay the same. Tonight, God told me to tell you that everything that has been working against you to try to stop you, delay you, hinder you, and immobilizing you from going forth into everything that God has for you. God said everything that was working against you is about to work for you. It's about to work for you. And we know that all things work together for Work together for You've been wondering, God, why do I go through what I'm going through? Because God said I needed something to work with. Now it's going to work together for your good. All things. All things. They're going to work together for your good. I come with good news in a bad situation. God said everything is about to turn. Oh, 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 everything is about to turn. Everything is about to shift. And as you're getting ready for it, you got to be anointed for it. That's why you got to pick up the phone and call 855-730-WORD and put your seed on this word so I can rush you this fresh oil. This oil is no joke. Every time I smell it, I want to fall out under the power of God. It is that strong. It's no joke. It's consecrated. It's been sanctified. I prayed over all of it because God said, for what I'm getting ready to do, you got to be anointed enough to handle it. My God, my God. Pick up that phone and release your seed of $80.28. Don't wait till the end. Do it right now. 1-855-730-WORD. Call right now because God's got an anointing and it got your name on it. 855-730-WORD and release that seed. $80.28. We're waiting to hear from you. I want to know who's calling because I want to read your name. I want to declare the anointing over your life. My God. Well, I've got another guest with me tonight. This woman of God... When we first met, there was just such a connection. It was almost uh, that type of connection uh, where the babes just begin to leap on the inside. I knew that there was something incredible in her. And she knew that there was something amazing in me. And there was just such a synergy and a, such a flow. And I told her, I said, the Lord told me to ask you to come here tonight because I believe that there's a power, there's an anointing, and there's a word in your spirit that somebody need to hear. Would you help me welcome the woman of God? She's a preacher. She's a prophet. She's a psalmist. And most of all, she's my friend, Pastor Gio Maddox. New York, New Jersey, East Coast is here in the house. Welcome, woman of God. 
God bless you. God bless you. It's great to be here. I am ecstatic about being here. The power of the Holy Ghost that is in this studio is absolutely amazing. My God. Well, listen, I don't I, I want to get right to it because I know you got all kinds of stuff just lodged in your spirit. And I want you to come forth. I believe, woman of God, we're in a season right now uh, of onset of many miracles. I believe that God has purposed a major turning and a turnaround for his people. Would you tell us what the Lord has been speaking to you about where we are? Well, the Holy Ghost has been dealing with me for quite some time about the supernatural. And what is happening for us right now is the supernatural anointing is upon our lives like never before. The truth of the matter is you're looking for it to be a feeling. And the supernatural is not a feeling, it's a knowing. You got to know that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that the supernatural anointing is down on the inside of your belly. And the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel 21 and 27 and it says I will overturn 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 it I don't know what your it is you don't know what my it is but whatever it is I felt God right there whatever it is God says I will that means it's guaranteed I will overturn 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 it and it shall be no more until he comes whose right it is is there anybody out there that has something that belongs to them it's rightfully yours. You got to proclaim it to be yours right now in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and say it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. And I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Woman of God, I want you to stay. My God, I'm going to get it. I, somebody shout, I'm going to get it. I, I heard you say overturn, and I want you to stay right up in there because I believe that that's a vein right there, overturn. I want you to talk about that because somebody is dealing with a court case and, and, and they need something to be overturned. Somebody's child is, is facing some prison time and you need some stuff overturned. Somebody is facing a doctor's report and they need it overturned. Somebody got a bad verdict from the bank and you need that decision overturned. Talk about that woman of God. When God talks about overturning something, he takes you from where you were and he brings you to where he expects you to be. There is a difference between an appointed time uh -huh, and a set time. I believe that this is the set time of the Lord. In the book of 1 Samuel, the 17th chapter, around the 41st verse, we begin to understand that David is given some instructions about what God wants him to do down on the inside. I believe that his spirit was beginning to turn all of the time, but those that were connected to him did not know what was turning on the inside for him. And because he was getting ready to make one power move, is there anybody out there that's getting ready to make one power move? And when you begin to make that one power move, I need you to understand that God is getting ready to overturn some things just for you. In this text, you have to understand that David was bad all by himself. I'm talking to about 700 people tonight. I need you to open up your mouth and decree and declare, I prophesy, I'm bad all by myself. Yeah, 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 I'm bad all by myself. And so when he began to face the greatest opposition of his life, he didn't know that everything was getting ready to be overturned on his behalf. And I stopped by by way of announcement to tell you that the biggest thing in your life and the greatest thing in your life that looked like it was going to turn you out, you're getting ready to overturn it. Oh, I can't get nobody to believe God out here. I need about 1,000 viewers to get ready to plant a seed right there on that overturn. You know that God has already promised, and the promises of God to Bohoshamani, excuse me, the promises of God are yea and amen. Can I get an amen out there? Listen, when the Bible begins to talk, I got a couple of things I want to share with you right quick. The blessings of the Lord that make it rich and addeth no sorrow are actually waiting for you. And the Lord told me to minister in this vein. He says, tell the people that David, in the 45th verse, he's he stood before the Philistines uh, and he says, you can come up against me uh, with what you have, uh, but I'm getting ready to come up against you uh, with what God gave me. Uh, God has given you a secret weapon uh, and the weapon that he has down on the inside of you uh, will help you to overturn uh, any situation that you're about to face. Uh, what is that? Uh, it's a supernatural slaying power. 
when you think about being cute, you, it, does, it doesn't uh, look, look like cute to everybody else. I got a little bag over there. If somebody can bring me my little goodie bag. Watch this. The Lord began to deal with me. And he began to tell me about a scripture. And this scripture comes in the, in the person of Amos. Yes, it did. And I've become to prophesy to you tonight. The Bible says, thank you for my goodie bag. Don't judge me. Love me. Watch this. So, 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 so the text says in Amos 9 and 13, it says, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I can't get nobody in here to believe God. I feel like running and ain't nobody chasing me right there. Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor. It won't be long now. And this is God's decree. Now watch this. I need a rumbling sound. Things are getting, there it is. Watch yourself there now. Things are getting ready to happen so fast. believe y'all heard what I said here. I said the Bible says uh, God's decree is uh, things are getting ready to happen so fast. Hey! Shit, shit, shit.
three zero word. Lines are jammed. If you can't get through, go to the wordnetwork.org. Release your seed. I want to get your name on this kit. Dom from Connecticut. This anointing, this miracle clock, this SSP coming to you in Connecticut. Ernest, my faithful partner in Kansas. Ernest, get ready for some SSP because this anointing is coming to Kansas. Jacqueline from Maryland, get ready, it's coming to you. Oh, they released their 8828. Hattie from Arkansas, it's coming to you. Marjorie from Texas, here it comes. Barbara from California, here it comes. One of my faithful partners, Barbara. Anthony from New York, here it comes. My God Almighty. McKinney from New Jersey, here it comes. 855 pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. An anointing is coming. A miracle is coming. God's about to overturn it. When you get this miracle prayer club, lay it on whatever you need to turn in your life. And you watch God. Glory be to God. Watch him. 855-730-WORD. Pick up that phone. Pastor Jill and I are running to the call center. We're about to jump on the phone. As you sow in your seed, the woman of God's going to help me pray back there. As you're releasing your seed, 855 855- 730 word, put that seed on it. Don't wait, it's worth the anointing that's getting ready to hit your life. SSP, the hand grenade, boom! Here comes Quan in the praising, singing, he's able. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you. We honor you because you're able to handle any situation. Hallelujah. Yeah. We bless you, Jesus, in this place. Come on, I dare you to open up your mouth today and honor the presence of the Lord. We're confident that he's able to handle any situation. Hallelujah. Exceedingly. Abundantly, above all, you may ask or think according to the power and that works in you. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill. 
Because he won't give up on you. I tell you to know, don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. If you're struggling today, don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Because he's able. To him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all, we can ask or think according to the power that works on the inside of you. I don't know about you, but I need the power of God to work on the inside of me. And I'm telling you, there is power in the anointing. And I believe that God is equipping his people with another level of power. I believe that God is about to give you supernatural ability to do what you haven't been able to do by yourself. I want you, if you haven't already, many of you, I want you right now to pick up that phone because there is a transfer of an anointing. Anointings are transferred. Look at Elijah and Elisha. When prophets show up in a place, there is a transfer that God intends to take place. When Elijah hung around Elijah, there was a transfer of an anointing. And when Elisha got that anointing, Elisha was able to do things that he had never, ever, 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 ever done before in his life. And I believe that there's an anointing coming to you. And God's going to empower you to do things that you've never, ever, ever, ever been able to do in your life. You're going to get things that you've never been able to get. You're going to go places you've never been able to go. Glory be to God. Because of the anointing, expect miracle turnarounds to happen. Pick up that phone and release that $80.28. We're standing on Romans 8.28. All things work together for our good. In this season, everything that was working against you is going to work for you. It's going to work for you. Favor going to work for you. God's goodness going to work for you. 855-730-WORD. We've got some people of God that are releasing their faith. We've got Dolly from South Carolina who released her $80.28 cent seat. We got Verna from New York who put her 8028 seed in the ground. Ernestine from California released her 8028. Uh, Rachel from Minnesota released her 8028. Precious, South Carolina. Marilyn from New York. Latrice from Virginia. Crystal from Illinois. Latonia from Virginia. Barbara from New York. There's an anointing coming. There's a miracle coming. There's a turnaround getting ready to happen for you. You release your seed. God is releasing your miracle. 855-7301. I just heard the spirit of the Lord just speak to me. He said, many of you say, Dr. Williams, I've been through so much trouble. And the Holy Ghost has been speaking to you about the double. I challenge your faith to sow double of that 8028. That 16056. If you're ready for a season called double. You know that Elisha, he got double the anointing, double the grace and work, double the miracles that Elijah had worked. And God says, I'm going to multiply you and I'm getting ready to promote you to a place called the double. Double for your trouble. Many of you are releasing 8028 right now. But the Lord just spoke to me. He said, many of you are supposed to sow double because I've declared this season to be a season called double for you. 855-730-WORD. Don't miss this moment. There's a shift happening. And as you sow it, the oil of the anointing is coming. As you sow it, this miracle cloth is coming. As you sow it, that message, why ain't you dead yet? It's on the way. It's on the way. Release your seed. And God's getting ready to release you into your next level. 
Hallelujah. Listen, I have another amazing guest with me here tonight. Oh, my God. He's a prophet of God in his own right. And I mean a seasoned prophet. Not a fly by night. But a real prophet of God that prophesy real things to real people. Because we serve a real God. And I'm telling you, stuff is about to get real. Would you help me welcome to the Shift Live Prophet. All the way from New York, Prophet Andre Cook. Put your hands together and let's welcome the man of God. God bless you. God bless you, Dr. Takeda Williams. Um, thank you for having me tonight as your guest. Um, I'm certainly excited about this opportunity, not because we're here in the studio audience, um, but in addition to the studio audience, the millions that are watching us who do not realize um, that this isn't television as usual, but this is a moment of transformation. A transaction is taking place in the Kevins as we speak. And as you have declared, they're moving from where they were to where God is for them. All things are working together, has worked together for their good, and they're stepping into the season of this manifestation. And I want to say to those who are watching us, I want to assure them that in this encounter, a realization is being received. Something good is going to happen to them. I want you to know, Dr. Takeda Williams, God has spoken to you concerning the shift, but I heard God say, tell the general, tell Dr. Williams that this is the beginning of greater exposure, that you will bring the shift, not only to the nation, but I heard God said it's global. As of tonight, your touch is global. And I want to assure these people both here in the studio audience, those watching by television, uh, that something good is getting, let me say it this way, something good is taking place right now. That's right, double for the trouble and triple for the trial. Man of God, I want you to stay in that double for the trouble and triple for the trial. Absolutely. This is I just want to get on the floor right through there. <laughs> Woman of God, the people of God have publicly and privately been suffering. And so many of them have lost their zeal, their zest, their merely functioning. It's becoming increasingly impossible to attend the house of worship, to attend to their duties and their functions. They themselves are in need of a miracle. They've been doing all they can to hold on. Local assemblies are suffering. The men and women of God are moving in tasks that they're no longer qualified for. And as a result, they're attending tables and no longer attending to prayer and power. God wants the apostolic anointing to be realized in our nation's pulpit. There was an issue. There was an issue. There was trouble in a growing church, the first century church. There was an issue between widows. There was needs that needed to be met. And the apostles were taking it upon themselves to meet the need, a practical need that moved them out of a spiritual dimension. So God added to them help so that the pulpit will have presence and power. And I'm telling you that even some of our guest pastors tonight who are sitting with us, they've been shifted. They thought they came here just to be spotlighted. But no, God has returned a spotlight to their greatest ability. God's anointing them because as he anoints them, he's shifting them, but also shifting their congregations, so their members. He's going to give them an influence that's going to be unlike before. This year, 2017, I've been sharing it everywhere I've gone, is the year of redeemed influence. We're no longer just to exist and to be a building on the corner, but we're to be the lighthouse. But not just the lighthouse, but when they come into the house to experience the power of God. God is shifting 
Hasha, no mamantia. He's shifting from the usual to the abnormal, to the supernatural. The church again, the church again, the church again is going to be a place of presence and a place of power. And God's dealing with the people that's in the church. He's bringing them from, bringing them to. And I want to assure somebody that's watching me, you can't afford to sit here and listen to me only. You've been praying and God said that you ought to invest. Because nothing happens without an investment. Wherever there's faith, faith requires work. 855-730-WORD is the number to dial. Give me your prayer request. I'll be stepping out with Prophet in a moment, and I'm going to be praying for you personally. But I want to say this to the people of God with your permission. I want to assure them that their season is now. I've been saying to the people of God, stop working on becoming and just be. The pressure of your past and the pressure of this moment has created a new you. It's a new you with power. It's a new you with authority. It's a new you to be present. Jesus said to those who are following him, ye are the salt of the world. Ye are the salt of the earth. Huh? The ability to preserve. The ability to create uh, uh, flavor and seasoning. Uh, you can create thirst. Ye are the salt of the earth. You're not becoming. You are not becoming. You already are. And ye are the light of the world. You dispel darkness. Come on, beloved. It's time for you to be. That's right. The enemy has successfully distracted you from being and wishing and have you wishing that you would become. But I'm here to tell you that the anointing of the double of double is going to push you into the limelight and you're going to be God's influence in your space, in your scope of influence. Woman of God, I'm telling the people of God tonight they can't afford to miss this moment. They can't afford to miss this moment. Man of God, there was something you said that just resonated in my spirit yes. when you talked about the restoration of influence. Yes. And I couldn't help but to think about exousia yes. power. Yes. I'm yes. talking about that authority. Yes. This is not the season, man of God, where I believe that the, the, the people no more have to beg demons to leave them alone. No. But if you tell the devil to go, because God is restoring your influence and giving you back his zoozy of power, he got the gold. Man, I've got that power to tread on those serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy, I believe that somebody has been in a fight. But as God restores yes. that influence, yes. that if they speak to a problem, the problem got to be whatever they tell it to be. This is the year 2017 is a year in a season that's unmeasured. It's a season of retrieval, recovery, restoration, revival, and resuscitation. It cannot be limited to a 12-month duration. But 2017 in this season has significance in that God is focusing his attention on his people with redeemed influence as his objective. Redeem. The word redeem here is for recovered. Influence is for impact. We've been a church without impact, though we've been in a community. So God is saying, my absolute focus on every individual that makes up the church, that makes up the local assembly, is to give it back its influence. Because after all, in Acts chapter number 17, the Bible says that it was Paul and Silas who was described as men who have turned the world upside down that the come, that have come here also have come here give them the word of the lord that gives us illustrations even in the gospel account when jesus first came on the scene when he stepped out of obscurity into the light in the beginning of his popularity jesus first partnered with individuals that we call disciples but in the instance of christ it was first let me connect to individuals
individuals with community influence. So they weren't just individuals. They were disciples, certainly, but they were also what? They were, they were tax collectors. Uh, they were fishermen. Everybody knows their tax assessor. Everybody knows their tax preparer. Everybody knows the fishermen and the, and the persons who are selling them fish in the community. Persons knew them. They were persons of influence. So Jesus, knowing that his time was limited, was a time of unbroken focus, but necessitated the work being finished by first connecting with partners, individuals of influence. And too long the church has slipped into this antsy dancing, oh, I have a good time when I go to church, but God is saying, no, I am going to return my influence to you as instruments. I'm going to give you influence in the marketplace. I'm going to give you influence in the local government. I'm going to give you influence in your community because after that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. You shall come on, receive power and become my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, the uttermost parts of the world. I wish somebody would wave their hand and say power. power. Supernatural power. Miracle power. Miracle money power, community power, Tyranny. something good is coming out of it. Praise the name. Somebody shout power! 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 Power in your house! Power! Power in your finances! in your community. Power! Power in your company. Power! Power to stop on the enemy. Power! Power over sickness. Power! Power over disease. Power! Power over lack. Power! Somebody shout power! Power, Lord! Power! Lord, we need your power. Man of God, I can't let that go. Power. How many of you want power? God, I need your power. Lord, I need your power. Power to break every chain, Lord. Power. Power to get up from the grave. Power to make the lame to walk. Power to make the blind to see. Power to make cancer flee. Power that will make demons tremble. Power. Somebody shout power. Power. I can't leave it alone, man. You got to leave it in the old side. Power is coming. It's coming to your house. Power. You're not going to be able to lay there and die. You get ready to have too much power to quit. God get ready to equip you with another level of power. Whatever you speak to, it's going to have to move. Whatever you say it is, that's what it's going to have to be. If you tell a problem, your prosperity, your problem got to become your prosperity. If you tell the sickness to become healing, that sickness got to turn. If you tell that lost child, come up off the streets, they got to respond. They got to obey. If you tell it to turn, it's got to turn. There's an anointing. There's a power. 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 Hey, hey, hey. You know, Pick up that phone right now. 855-730-WORD and release that sheet. $80.28. We're about to send you this anointing. We're about to send you this oil. Power is up in it. Power to come out of the wilderness. Power. Power to get back what you lost. Power. Power to make it to Canaan. Power. Power to reach your destiny. Power. Power to overcome the enemy. Power. Power to bring down the wall of Jericho. Power. Power, Lord. 855 word. We're going to send you this anointing. That's power. Power. That's power in this prayer call. Power. Power. Power to tell cancer. Try it. 
Cry up. Somebody dealing with breast cancer. There's power here for you. This time I want you to work your faith right now. Power, power, Lord. God's releasing an anointing. God's releasing an anointing. God is releasing an anointing. You're sowing a seed into it. You're sowing a seed into it. Whatever the man soweth, that will he also reap. You sow the seed. You reap the power. You sow the seed. You reap the anointing. You sow the seed. You reap the miracle. The miracle accuracy. word many of you sowing 80 28 do it right now some of you sowing double double for the trouble and prophet said triple for the trial man of god i'm telling you i feel it in my spirit he said triple for the trial some of you you're supposed to sow triple you're supposed to sow double you're supposed to blah, 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 blah. don't miss this moment eight five five prophet cook and i are about to run to the call center we want you right lines are jammed we want you to wait, 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 wait. They're going to be with you. If you can't get through, go online now. Release this seed into this moment. The prophet just prophesied. Double for your trouble. Triple for your trial. If you've been going through something, you've got to release the seed. Because through the seed, God's about to turn. Turn it around. 855-730-WORD. We're getting ready to run back there as you're sowing your seeds. And for those that are sowing your seed, we're jumping on the phone. We're praying, we're prophesying as you release what the Holy Ghost said, release. 855-730-WORD. Here comes Quan and the shift praise team declaring that he's Alpha and Omega. Prophet Cook and I are going to the back. We'll be right back. Stay right there. Pick up that phone, 855-730-WORD. He's out there, don't we God. Come on, just where you are, I just dare you to lift up those hands. Hallelujah. And receive from the Lord. The presence of God is here in this place. And we declare his sovereignty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. You are holy. Thank you. There's none like you. Mm. You are Alpha. And Omega. We were worship you, our Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Come on, I dare you to release a fresh worship in this place and declare that you are our Alpha and Omega. We worship you. If you know this, just help me declare in the house and say, You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Come on, let's say, We give you all. You are worthy. Oh, come on, I tell you to lose. 
So take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. Sing this is we give you all. We- 
going to rush you one of these miracle calls. I'm going to rush you this bottle of anointing oil. I'm going to rush you this message. Why ain't you dead yet? Some of you are supposed to sow double because you've been through so much trouble. And God said, this is your season of reward. And like Prophet Cook said, some of you are supposed to release triple for the trial you've been through. Some of you, you've been through so much on your jobs. You've been through so much in your family. So much in your marriage, so much with your children, so much even on your jobs, so much in your sin. I'm tired of fighting, but this oil is about to fight for you. Didn't I tell you this oil right here is symbolic of a hand grenade? It's about to fight for you. Pick up that phone right now and dial 855 730 work. Miss this moment. 8028. Show it. Double. Sow it, triple, sow it. So it's somebody watching right now. The Lord just spoke to me. You right there. You need a big, huge miracle to happen in your life. And you said, woman of God, for what I need, 80, 28 ain't enough. The Lord told me to challenge your faith right now. Something big is about to happen with a seed of $1,000. Pick up the phone. Tell the operator, the woman of God is talking to me because something big has got to happen in my life. You know what I heard the Holy Ghost say? He said, this shift for you is I'm taking you from bad, catch this, to the big. Glory be to God. That's the next shift of God. From bad to the big. Pick up that phone right now and release those seats. 855. 730 word. Somebody put your hands together and praise God for the people that are calling. Praise God for the people that God is setting up for their miracle. Somebody jump to your feet and shout with a loud voice because something is happening. Something is happening. Glory. There's a shift. There's, there's a shift. There's, there's a shift. God is shifting you into your miracle. 55730 word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanna do it for you. Yeah. I want you to grab your Bibles while you're calling. Hallelujah. And turn to Genesis chapter number 37. The Lord gave me this. And while you're turning to Genesis 37, Louise from Florida called to release her seat of 8028. Jenny from Delaware, Rosanda from Indiana, Stephanie from New York, Mary Ann from New York, Joyce from North Carolina, Rosa from Pennsylvania, Jerry from Louisiana, Trinidad from Texas, Lisa from Arizona, Dorothy from South Carolina, Lenore from New York, and Judith from New York release the double. Somebody put your hands together for the miracle that's getting ready to go to their houses. It's on the way. It's on the way. I want you to go to Genesis 37 with me. This message tonight is for some prophetic Josephs. For some prophetic Josephs. Uh, Genesis 37, and I'll, I'll borrow, I'll end up at Genesis 50, 20. Genesis 37, the text tells me, according to the word of the Lord, Verse 3, now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream and he told it to his brethren. And they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Here I pray thee the dream which I have dreamed. The text goes on to say, as we progress throughout the scriptures, verse number 11, and his brethren envied him, but his father observed his saying. Uh, and then if we go over to verse number 8, we will see in the same passage of text and when they saw him afar off even before he came near them they conspired against him to slay him and they said one to another behold this dreamer cometh 
And then we get uh, to Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter number, chapter number 50, verse number 20. The end of the matter was this, and this is where we're going. Ready, Genesis 20, 50. But as for you, you thought evil against me. Somebody shout, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. This is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is blessed. And God sent me here with this prophetic message to tell you that it's going to work in your favor. Would you touch somebody next to you and tell them for me, I don't care what you're dealing with and I don't care what you're faced with, it's going to work in your favor. Uh, I need about a thousand Josephs out there watching uh, that understand that what you're going through is not in vain, but God is about to use what the devil try to get you and he's about to flip that thing and that thing is about to work for you. Somebody shout God flip. Come on, hit me over there real hard. Boom. Somebody shout, God, flip it. I need you to flip this thing. God told me to tell you he's about to flip it. Somebody shout, flip it. Flip it. Uh, so now, so now, here in, the, first of all, this night right here is a night for some prophetic Josephs. Somebody say it's dreamers night. It's, it's dreamer's night. It's favor night. Uh, this is a night where God told me to tell you, uh, many of you are about to catch this, he's about to shift you even into another dimension of favor. He's, uh, he's, and, and when you're walking in this kind of favor, this next level type of favor, everything is going to work in your favor. Everything, everything. Your bills, they're going to work in your favor. Your finances, uh, they're about to work in your favor. People that's been bothering you on your job, it's getting ready to work in your favor. The struggles you've been having in your house, uh, it's getting ready to work in your favor. Whatever the devil been trying to do against you, it's uh, going to work in your favor. God told me to tell you, I'm increasing your favor, and when I do it, everything is about to work in your favor. Somebody shall favor me, Lord. Favor me, Lord. So here in this particular passage of the text, we see here a man by the name of Joseph. Uh, Joseph is known as uh, the dreamer, the dreamer Joseph. And uh, we see, uh, we, you know the text, Joseph has this dream. Uh, he is a dreamer. It is who God made him to be. And one of the things that I want you to recognize when God makes you to be a thing and when God ordains you to be who you are, everybody is not going to like it. Uh, so, so, so this is not the moment and the hour for you to try to get everybody's applause because listen, everybody ain't going to clap for you. This is not the season to, to get everybody to like you. In fact, when you're really anointed, glory be to God. Now, hallelujah. There will be a lot of people that hate you, but God will preserve the people that really love you. Hallelujah. And so everybody is not going to like you, and uh, everybody is not going to clap for you, and everybody is not going to stand for you, and everybody is not going to pat you on the back. Uh, and there will be some people that will hate you, uh, not because you did something wrong to them, uh, just because you got a dream that's bigger than them. Touch somebody and say, I got a dream in me that is waiting to get out of me. That's what this warfare that you've been in is all about. To somebody and say it's about the dream. It's a, it's about the dream. It's about the dream. It's a, it's about the dream. I can't hear nobody saying that. I'm, I'm talking to you right there. It's about the dream. You wonder why the enemy attacked you? It's about the dream. You know why the enemy came for you and you didn't call him? Because it's about the dream. You know why he attacked your money? Because it's about the dream. 
dream. You know why he messing with your kids? Because it's about the dream. You know why he telling lies on you? Because it's about the dream. You know why people turned on you? Because it's about the dream. Somebody say it ain't personal. It's just business, baby. It's about the dream. Somebody say, I got a dream in me that's waiting to come out of me. God told me to tell you that the battle you've been in, this thing is about not where you are now, but where I'm taking you later. I wish I had about 35 good showers up in here that will open your mouth and just scream. Come on, somebody shout, it's about the dream. That's why so much warfare. It's about the dream. It's about the prophecy. Paul told Timothy, you got a war, a good warfare over the prophecies that were spoken over you. Somebody shout, it's about the dream. And the people that hate you don't hate you because you did something to them. They hate you because you got a dream that won't die. God, I wish I had a witness up in here. I wish I had somebody that said I got a dream that won't die. They tried to kill Joseph, but he had a dream that would not die. And the devil has tried to kill you, but your dream kept you alive. The enemy tried to destroy you, but you got a dream that won't die. They talked about you, but you got a dream that won't die. Did you turn it? Throw you in the pit, but you got a dream that won't die. Somebody say, I got a dream in me that I gotta get out. They thought that they were gonna kill, kill the dream if they killed Joseph. But I came in here to let you know that your dream won't let you die. That when you wanted to give up, your dream wouldn't let you give up when you wanted to lay in the pit your dream wouldn't let you stop believing and I came in here to tell somebody that your dream is getting ready to come to pass I hear the Holy Ghost saying that I'm getting ready to send you a spiritual Reuben somebody say God send me a Reuben Say it again. Say, God, send me a Reuben. Come on, say it again. God, send me a Reuben. It was Reuben who said, wait a minute. Don't kill him. Come on, it was Reuben that opened his mouth when all the other brothers wanted to kill him. It was one brother that opened his mouth and said, wait a minute. Let him leave. Why Reuben? Catch this. Reuben's name means the one that sees the vision. And God said, I'm sending you some spiritual Reubens, some people in your life that won't let the devil snuff you out. I'm sending you some people that won't fight against you, but that will fight for you. I'm sending you some people that see the vision and don't hate your dream. I'm sending you some people like Reuben that will intercede on your behalf. I hear the Lord saying, I'm replacing the witches that prayed against you and I'm sending warriors that will pray for you. Because many of you, you had too many witches that were praying against you. You had too many witches that were trying to speak curses against you. But I hear the Lord saying tonight that I'm replacing the witches with some prayer warriors. Somebody that won't let hell overtake you. I'm sending you some real people with a real anointing that see the vision and know the dream. God told me to tell you in this season you gonna make it cause your vision gonna fight for you. Somebody lift your voice and say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. God told me to tell 
for you tonight that your vision is getting ready to save your life. Your vision is getting ready to open up the door for you to get to the palace. Your vision is getting ready to back the enemy. Somebody shout back up off your life. Your vision, your Reuben. Somebody say, God, send me a Reuben. God, send me somebody that understands who you made me to be. And the Bible said that Reuben spoke up. So they said, okay, we won't kill him. So let's take his coat. His coat represented his favor. Somebody say, devil, you can take my coat, but you can't take my favor. You can take my coat, but you can't take my favor. They took his coat, but they couldn't take his favor. In fact, they worked. They worked evil against him. But God was going to use what the enemy took and cause it to work in Joseph's favor. They took his coat and they went and got a goat and they dipped his coat in goat's blood. Not any kind of blood, but goat's blood. Why in the world would you take my coat and dip it in that blood? A goat represents prevailing power. A goat represents supernatural strength. They took his coat, represented his favor, took his favor, and dipped it in the blood. Aren't you so glad that the enemy took your stuff? Because now he dipped it in the blood. And I came in here to tell you that your favor is covered by the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Shout the blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. The blood, the blood. They dipped it in goat's blood. So it's favor. It got stronger. God said, when the devil took your stuff, he was doing you a favor. He was helping you get stronger in the anointing. Get stronger in power. Get stronger in prayer. If it had not been for what the devil did, you would give God the time of day. But because of the enemy, you learn how to get a real prayer life. Because of the enemy, you learn like you lost your mind. Somebody tell the devil, thank you for what you took. Thank you for what you stole. Thank you for violating me. Thank you for touching me. Thank you for wounding me. The Bible says that they took it. Something and dip it in blood and 
Joseph was in charge. And the Bible say that the same brothers that did him dirty, they had a need. The same brothers, they had a famine. And the Bible say that they had to go, go to where Joseph was. It was a place called Goshen. And I came in here to tell you that God's getting ready to take you to your Goshen. And the same people that turned their back on you are the same people that's going to need you. And God said, when they get there, show them two things, your scar and your success. God said, that's all your enemies are going to see in this season. Your scars and your success. They wanted you to fail. But your scar and your success. Somebody said, Joseph said, Genesis 50, 20, you meant it for evil. But God had a plan. But God that already worked it out. But God, but God, let me go through what I went through uh, to get me where I'm going to. He let you go through what you went through to get you to where you're going to. Said I'm going somewhere. Put your hands together and give God praise. begun is bigger is better is greater i hear these words bigger better and greater i'll say it one more time catch it bigger better and greater your joseph anointing has just increased you but tonight is the 
prophetic numerology is 3-8-2017. When you put three and eight together, it comes to 11. And when the Lord says, when they see you, they're going to see double. They're going to see you and him. The 10 is 2017. And God says that this is your year for the triple seven. There's a triple play anointing that's coming into your life, coming into your ministry. I prophesy to 500 leaders that you will Get ready to work for your good. 855-730 word. Pick up the phone. Release that 8028. Release that double. That double. That watch what the Holy Ghost is about to do for you. The devil left you for dead, but God is about to bless you instead. Come on. 855-730 word. Don't you miss this moment. Don't you miss. Do it now. There's an anointing waiting for you. You can't get there without the anointing. You can't get there without his power. 855 word 8028. Romans 828. All things, they're going to work in your favor. Because the favor of God is increasing on your life. Reuben is fighting for you. And the blood is going to cover you. 855 word 8028. 160.56. 1,000. Move right now. Move right now. Me and the prophets are going to the call center. As you saw, we're going to jump on the phone and declare your release. Come on. 855 Word. Move. The Holy Ghost is waiting for you. 855 Word. Everybody sing with me. So many. 